Well, you're not a sexy guy. Like, oh, let me be honest. Like, wow. You're not ugly. Oh, wow. I'll never call you ugly. So, I've called you, I've called about you it. handsome. I've called you handsome before. I want everyone to know that Lowe looks sad about that. What's poppin' people? Welcome back to Say Less. My name is Kaz, and on today's episode, Lo is gonna tell us why you gotta be sad before you listen to any sad girl autumn tunes. Rosie's back from Jamaica, got a fresh yeah, tan, is gonna tell us all about it. And I am gonna tell you why Trayvon Diggs might be the new primetime and more sports. Shout out to the WNBA, shout out to Chicago Sky. Let's get this show started, people. I don't know where the hell I'm at right now. <laughs> <laughs> Not know where the hell I'm at right now. Yeah. I, I see the neon sign. It's Someone told me it looked like a hookah lounge. <laughs> Marty drinking tea. Someone said it was a sex room. They're like, it looks like people sitting in there. I'm like, ah, uh, we sit everywhere. Sipping on a Monday. Yeah, Monday. nah, this is uh, this is low key from Howard University. Hip hop army throwback on yeah, Apple yeah. Music hits. Uh, yeah, yeah. Every day, nine to ten. Yeah, yeah. Ain't seen these two it's in about four weeks, but uh, well, on camera. I mean, I saw you this weekend. Oh, man, I see it. We saw you know, we had the baby okay. shower, and I was drinking beer, won some liquor games, <laughs> ate some Italian food, but yeah, you know, I, Rosie, I, you know, I, I saw, I, it's just Rosie, man. There it Rosie is. Is. I saw just the baby Rosie. shower through IG. I saw. Yeah, I saw yeah. that you saw. That, yeah. You saw that but, I saw. Yeah, nah, you was out here living your best life in Jamaica, just, so. I was, yeah, you was I doing was, a lot. You was, you was you doing came, the most. You came back a little crunchy brown. I know yeah. you did that tan. Oh, I see it. Oh, like I see it. It, it looks you good like on it. You like Eddie lightning on. ride, blonde. Just, you know, it's blonder. I roll. Okay. It's a good look. It's a good look. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Jake, what's popping, bro? You good over there? Man, welcome. I appreciate everybody. Again, before we get started, before we hit the rundown, right. I just want to thank every single person who has supported this show. From the Ruta to the Tuta. Right. Obviously, you could see some big things are about to get cracking with this show. Right. And they're starting right here, right now. So let's get. I haven't cursed yet. Yes. And I mean, you oh, don't have to. Let me take I mean, a shot. You know, you don't have to Somebody needs to put up like a, a, a low. Did we, did we have that? And a we, had a swear, cursing me. we had a swear jar. <laughs> we had a swear jar at the crib and it lasted, lasted one, week. one episode. <laughs> <laughs> lasted one we week. We need a swear jar. Yeah, I'm going to bring one next week. Well, we're going to we're gonna try and curb the cursing, but we're going to keep the content mm -hmm. flowing as usual. But before we start any of that. Right. Let's show some love to the dub, man. The WNBA championship oh, was yeah. yesterday. Chicago Sky. Chicago Correct. Sky defeated yeah. the Phoenix Mercury. Congratulations to Candace Parker. Man. Daughter came out on the on Shout the out Layla. Yeah, man. That was a beautiful thing to watch. You know, Gabrielle Union was excited about it. it the was world was most, excited Yeah, about it. I mean, the world. You know, I'm just like, you know, people that were, that were watching, that were tuned in. But it, it was very emotional. Yeah. You know, uh, Candace Parker came back to her hometown. Yeah. Gave them their first championship uh, for the franchise. You Listen, know. you bring a Trip to your hometown. You gotta, yo, you, gotta that, you gotta tip the cap. You yeah, gotta salute man. it. I don't care what sport it is. And yeah. obviously, Candace Parker, I mean, I, you know, as an athlete growing up, I've heard of oh, Candace. Oh my I've heard of God. Candace Parker's name for a did very you, long time. Did you play time. against her too? I did not. I did not. <laughs> I did not. Oh my God. But growing up, those are the two names. The two names you always heard growing up was LeBron James and Candace Parker. Right. Like right. as LeBron was coming up in high school and mm -hmm. killing everything, mm -hmm. the other name you always heard was Candace Parker. She was the female LeBron, and mm -hmm. she's from Naperville, Illinois, went mm -hmm. to Chicago, had a great career in the University of Tennessee, great career for the LA Sparks. The LA Sparks was like, you know what? We don't need you no more. Right. You know what I'm saying? We're trying to move in a new direction. Wow. Candace Parker goes to Chicago, hometown Chicago sky. First and, season. And on top of now that- she on has to act up. We can talk, we can talk about the, 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 the accolades. We can talk about how, how well she performed. Mm -hmm. Can we just talk about how lit that crowd was though? <laughs> no, and like, and you, you know, you gotta, um, you gotta respect you know, the NBA players that were yes. courtside, you know, Chris Paul, Devin Booker. Yeah. Um, I think Russell Westbrook pulled yeah. up to one game. And then you got Chance the Rapper. Jay Crowder. You know, Jay Crowder. A lot of, you know, mm -hmm. a lot of athletes and entertainers with their supporting, you know, how dope that series was. And just how dope the MW, you know, WNBA is. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. it, it's beautiful to see other athletes. <laughs> I'm sorry. NWA is wild. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. Bro, it's 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 1030 <laughs> on a Monday morning. Like, cut me some flag. I still haven't cursed yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I still haven't cursed yet. But wow. no, you know, shout out to the WNBA. Shout out to everybody that supported them, you know, throughout the playoffs, the season, you know, the NBA finals. And, you know, shout out to Chicago Sky and Candace Parker. So, 
you know. Yeah, you got to throw that GOAT conversation. Yeah. Obviously, in, uh, it was the 25th anniversary of the WNBA season. And what the WNBA did, which I think was kind of dope, even though it might have rattled a few feathers, they named an official GOAT. Mm. And that GOAT was Diana Taurasi, who was on the other side mm. of that team, of the losing side for the Phoenix Mercury. So now you got to look at Kenneth Parker's accolades, two WNBA championships, mm. two NCAA titles, mm. two gold medals, two-time mm. WNBA MVP, mm. and she won Rookie of the Year and MVP in her first season alone. She had 16 points, 13 mm. rebounds, five assists, mm. and mm. four steals. So before we got into any sports, any music, any other topic... Gotta salute the dub. Shout out to everybody involved right. with them. Congrats to Chicago Sky. I mean, yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, obviously, you know, mad love to the WNBA. Yeah. Mad love. Shout out to Chance the Rapper, man. He was out there looking like Drake. Nah, bro, side, <laughs> excited. I love it, man. You they gotta, went to the club they, yeah. together. You gotta, like, show, you gotta shed light. You gotta show love, man. And that's what he's doing. That's his home city. Candace Parker is yeah. the, you know. If you if you're a hoop Go. fan, if you're a hoop fan, you gotta you gotta watch some WNBA. You gotta yeah. love some WNBA because yeah, it was, was some great basketball. I was yeah, I was in Sarah yeah. East watching the game, and you know it was, it was cracking. It was love it was fun. It's yeah. cracking. Can't wait for the next season. That's right. But Not it is fun. Monday, so you know it is an overreaction Monday. So we gotta talk about a little bit of football. Happy yesterday. Oh, you know oh. what it is. I mean, we, we can go from the I don't want to talk about your Giants right now, right? It's I nothing. wasn't even going to my Giants. <laughs> like, Jesus. I don't want to talk about that. I was right going to say, like, the Dallas Patriots game where Aaron Rodgers yes. is doing the Bears dirty. Yeah. Right? Let's, can, let's get into that. Yeah, let's talk. You know, Aaron Rodgers, the stat line against the Bears is impeccable. And then after that, that clutch touchdown, oh he gosh. says to the crowd, I, I own still you. own you. I own you. All my bleeping life, I own you. Can I just, can I just be a little? You, can, know, you want to use it creative? Like, can I hey, bleep, be, bleep this. Bleep all this. my fucking I life, I, I own you. I just don't know how I feel about a white man saying I still own. Uh, this is where we're taking it. This is where we're taking it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Bleep. No, I ain't gonna I'm hold sorry. you because uh, I thought. I'm like, uh, hold on, brother. That was a little bit. He said that I was a little bit too much bass in his voice. Yeah, like, hey, Wait, hey, was buddy. he directing it at the at, so the, he, at the crowd he or the players? At the, at the so here's what happened. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Aaron Rodgers ran it for a touchdown to pretty much seal the game against the Chicago exactly. Bears. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Jake. Aaron Rodgers' record against the Chicago Bears over his career is 22 and five. Five, yes, yeah, including right. postseasons, and I think he's he's thrown 55 touchdowns, 55 touchdowns. Yep. against the Chicago Bears. So he runs in for a touchdown. He hits the discount double check. Yep. And, and that was a late hit, too. It was a late hit, too. And he looks hit. into the crowd. And, you know, shout out to Fox for having that camera angle right, right and ready. on his on chin. There. Yeah. <laughs> and he's yelling, I own, own you. you. My whole career, I, I own you. I own you. They had a press conference afterwards. Right? <laughs> they talked to Aaron right. Rodgers. He's like, Rodgers, what the hell happened? What made you react like this? He said, some lady, as soon as he scored his touchdown, as soon as he looked up, he sees some lady giving the double birds <laughs> to him. Really? So he said he blacked out and uh, he doesn't remember what he said. I, I was very intrigued. I'm like, what sparked that like that rant or that celebration? Because I noticed he was just like looking at the crowd a little too long. Like yeah. he stayed in the end zone and was just looking and looking. I'm like, what the hell is going on? Yeah. Like, without context, without yeah. even knowing. Let me like, just... Like, say what? when you black out, you don't know what the. Hell you but say. he was like smiling and like he was gleeful. Right, and, like, I'm thinking like, oh, this is a big you, touchdown. When you see red. clutch words, Rosie, as somebody who he's... blacks out a lot and curses <laughs> people out a lot, <laughs> can you Not relate to Aaron Rodgers? Because like, I'm drunk, just mad. I get mad. <laughs> yes, I don't know what you, you don't know what you say. Listen, especially... what's the wildest thing you guys have said? Mad. A mat? Oh, that gosh. someone told you, you're like, that wasn't me? Uh, so we gotta, me? Do we, how much time do we yeah, got? Yeah, it's an hour long show now. Just, just what was the thing that shocked you the most? I mean, that you're like, I did not say that. And everybody's like, my yes, thing. you did. Here's my thing. <laughs> exactly. I'm not, I mean, I shouldn't be liable for what I say. <laughs> When I'm angry, yo, especially when I'm right. So why are we mad at him? I, no, I'm no, not we're not mad. mad. We were just I confused about what it was, and I mean, now knowing, you know, hearing the stat line and understanding like who did what to him when he scored the touchdown, the double birds from you know the, the <laughs> Some lady. lady. Yeah, I, I'd have blacked out too. Hey, I probably would have said way worse. Hey, listen, if I want, if I came into your place and beat you 22 times, throw 55 touchdowns, touchdowns, and this just season multiple years over and over and over. I'm allowed to say I own and you. It's a, and it's a normal right. Well, I'm allowed to flick you off. <laughs> exactly. Whoa. Well, not, no. well, listen, listen. <laughs> you ain't allowed to, I'm allowed to be like, yeah. But I'm I remember yeah, growing I, up. I, I remember growing you. up when Reggie Miller went nuts against the New York Knicks, right? Everybody like, was killing Spike Lee. 
Because everybody says Spike Lee was egging Reggie on. Was, well, he was. He was doing all that. So <laughs> do you think do you think this poor old lady in Chicago that, that gave Aaron Rodgers the double birds? No, I think he It happened after, no, He would have scored that touchdown right. regardless. The stat line would have been the same. Mm. Um, the touchdown celebration might have not been as elaborate, mm-hmm. but he would have still owned them stat wise. The, the numbers don't lie. That's what bro. I'm saying. The numbers don't lie and they don't change. <laughs> How many, you know, a lot of Chicago friends. You have a lot of Chicago friends. Yeah. Do you ever talk to them about Aaron Rodgers? No. It's don't. like talking to a New Yorker about Trey Young right now, bro. <laughs> like, Aww. honestly. Like, you mentioned Aaron Rodgers to, to people in Chicago. It's like a four letter word to them. It's like that. Or, or, or I mean, like, the, the, I think, or well, Tom think, Brady to anybody. Or Tom Brady. Or Tom <laughs> to Brady anybody. to anyone. So Unless you're a Giants fan. Well, yeah. I mean, we have privilege over. <laughs> but I think I think Knicks fans are just way more sensitive to anybody that comes to the Garden and just dismantles y'all. First off, you know, so like Jordan, first know, off, Kobe, first <clears> off, LeBron. <throat> It's a everybody. Uh, what we're not gonna do. Reggie. What we're not everybody. gonna do is turn you know, this to the next slam. Everybody, 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 <laughs> everybody that comes to the garden dismantles y'all. Has like a monumental game, career high scoring points. Be- the garden is the stage to show out and show your ass. You can't be mad at the mecca of basketball when people come in there and want to have their best career game. And they do. You can't get, and they do. Be mad that because y'all the Knicks are a punching bag. Oh. Oh, this is what we're doing right now? I mean, that that mean, that mean, cute. Like, that's not cute. I'm not trying all, to be cute. That's not cute. Jay came in with the Knicks shirt. You see what Julius Randle did. I don't care if it was pure season. I don't care if it was Watson. These are accidentally Knicks colors. I don't care. You came in with the Knicks I didn't come in with the Knicks You know what I mean? The ACG's on. Listen, Listen, you can't get mad that the garden is a place that people, that people love to show, show out. out. Listen, when you it got- It just so happens to got be your privilege, team. When you got privilege, when your team is where everybody wants to be at, when you got the stage- when you're the Mecca, of course everybody wants well, to show up. But why do y'all let them? Y'all, y'all, don't, y'all don't perform. Oh, it ain't like happening this year. Oh, okay. It ain't happening uh, this year. You say this go. every year. It ain't happening this year. This but get, moving on. Speaking of. Speaking of. Like, yeah, like, okay, buddy. Moving on. Let's, we got one more football topic to talk about. That was the craziest game of yesterday's Sunday's slate. The Dallas Cowboys, yeah. the New England Patriots. Mm-hmm. It was kind of a, a sleeper up until that fourth quarter, mm-hmm. where Mac Jones, that rookie Mac Jones, started going off. Uh, you know what I'm has, saying? I know Rosie has with Max mom her Mac Jones story. Listen, she not a nice lady. <laughs> I mean, I don't know the girl. So I don't know them personally. I don't know her either, story. but I saw her in action. I was like, oh, not fun. Not, <laughs> not, a, not fun. Not Right, not a fan at all. Not but fan. to his to her, his credit, he was balling out, mm-hmm. and um, I guess we gotta. I know you're a Giants fan. You're in the NFC East. You have to deal with the Cowboys. NFC least, and yeah. the, the, at very least yeah. this year because NFC we least. we didn't even touch the Giants this week because my God, they got they got I mean, many nothing many to problems. touch, bro. Nothing to really talk we're about. Five, there's really nothing to talk about. What? <laughs> like it's just like I don't. I'm not Let gonna. Go. I'm not gonna raise my blood pressure. I'm not gonna start the week off in a bad mood. It's just nothing to talk about. All right, so. I'm, I swear to you, this is not me trying to raise your blood pressure. No, it is. Do. Well, go ahead. But do it, do it, do it. The Cowboys are five and one. Rightfully so. <laughs> is it time to start putting some respect on Dakota's name, bro? Dakota Prescott. His 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 ankle last year looked like the L on our logo. <laughs> listen, listen. <laughs> and now he's yeah. playing like an MVP, man. Listen, man. I'm not. I'm not gonna sit here and be a hater. Uh, you know, we do as Giants fans hate the Cowboys. You we, got to. We resent them. Mm-hmm. But you know, if 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 they're playing. To this capacity, um, and they're utilizing all their, you know, their weapons, and right. Dak is just performing. They're performing, and I think what's what's the like, most- I, I, you, I can't like, I'm not, you know, I, yeah, I am a hater. Uh, yeah, yes, you are. Yeah, I'm uh, yeah, yeah. Yes, I'm very. Hey, with low coming soon. Hey, with low coming soon. very soon. But I You're like a DC I, fan yeah. talking about Marvel. I just can't <laughs> sit here and act like these niggas ain't balling. Right. Like, I'm right, not right. gonna be like, yeah, you know, they're lucky and they're not playing. Like, bro, they've been going up against some great teams. Right. They dismantled us by but 23 points. What surprised me the most is that defense. Right. Yeah. Like Everybody was tell everybody was telling me up and down like the Dallas Cowboys defense, worst defense, mm-hmm. historically bad. And to Trayvon Diggs, Stephon Diggs' brother. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? They call him the new prime time, bro. Another interception. Listen. Another pick six. Number seven. I out mean, there getting busy. It's like, bro, like what am what am I supposed to do? Are the prime time? I mean, you you remember <laughs> like, prime what time. What am era. I supposed to do, Rosie? Nothing. Right. Like <laughs> you watch you watch football in the prime time era. I feel like every time, Jake, you you watch prime time era, like Deion Sanders, shout out Deion Sanders, head coach prime, head coach of Jackson State. Mm-hmm. Every time somebody compares Trayvon Diggs. 
to primetime Deion Sanders, they're like, oh, that's blasphemous. He's not, he's not primetime yet. He's not this, he's not that. But what? Seven interceptions in seven games or something like that, or six games. Yep. Got two touchdowns. He has more touchdowns than his brother Stephon Diggs, who's, who's a, a wide, wide receiver, receiver. <laughs> for the Buffalo Bills. You know what I'm saying? So it put some are you ready to put some respect on the Cowboys name? Do you put, think they can win and, it all? And, and my my homegirl Brooke, you know, is a huge Dallas Cowboys fan. So we always go back and forth, especially when we play the, you know, when we play each other. But you know, Brooke, I gotta give you your credit, your, your, your Cowboy fans. I gotta give you y'all credit. Y'all are stepping up, y'all are dominating the NFC East, you're dominating hey. the NFC period, five hey. and one. They might win up, it all. Putting up numbers on the board. I don't want to live in a world. <laughs> I don't want to live in a world where if, Cowboys as long, fans no, as long as crazy. it's not the Eagles, <laughs> then I'm good. As long all as right. it's not the Eagles. Let's move on real quick. Um if you was on social media this week, if you saw Twitter, if you saw Instagram, or anything, especially NBA Twitter, get ready for the NBA season. Right. We saw this video. <laughs> is this real? Hit the this net. Is wild. So this is real. It's like two K. I don't know who did this. Shout out to whoever did it, but hit play, Jay. Oh, this is not real. This is real. So Ain't I guess no somebody. Way in hell this real. I guess somebody who has deep fakes or deep colorizations or whatever, like they just, found yeah. footage of Wilt Chamberlain and and colorized it, put it in HD, made it look as as you know 2K. recent as possible. This and anybody real. who's ever heard of Will Chamberlain, we see all these incredible numbers, incredible records, these incredible stats that make literally no sense because there wasn't a whole lot of footage of him hooping back then. This and is now, real? This yes. is real. It's just, it was colorized. It was put in HD. I think they used a little bit of deep fake and some 2K technology. But this is actual footage just, you know, updated for, you know, the, the, the modern eye. I and see so much racism in this. Well, <laughs> So much racism, racism on which side? Like, like because I don't know, at the man. white folks watching, I was about like, to say, who is this man? Because Will Chamberlain I also is see him having to leave giving the these back. post workers, <laughs> giving these, <laughs> giving the, these. Yo, this is the worst way to start off our new show. <laughs> you know what that reminded me of? Like, uh, remember the Titans basketball? <laughs> <laughs> Left side, strong <laughs> side. The worst side. way to start this show. Oh my bro. god! But oh yo, does it? So anybody, I, I just can't fathom that being real. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm bugging. Or it don't maybe seem I'm, real to me either. Because I feel like we've watched so much basketball over the years, right? Like mm. if I'm if I'm in the '60s, obviously, whatever. You know, if I'm watching this forever ago, I'm probably thinking this is the greatest basketball player I've ever seen mm. in my life. Mm. But for folks who do not believe in the evolution of game and the evolution of sport, you see. Will Chamberlain with that same tired ass turnaround back <laughs> shot. And he was banking on everybody he was playing. Not against. missing. He was using he was, he was kissing also on the, the backboard. Biggest motherfucker and it, it reminded yes. me of, of how Tim Duncan plays. Yes, yes, yes. How he, he looked, was, you know, how he kisses it off the backboard. Like, you know, not flashy, nothing, you know, too man, aggressive. Listen. Just very, you know, finesse, very just. Listen, I know a lot of people, there's a whole lot of old timers watching this like, see, I I told you, you. Will Chamberlain was a bucket back then. He was skillful. I'm like, look who he's playing against, yo. (laughs) He's playing against five Jakes. He's playing against five Jakes and Bill Russell. Yo, you gonna let him talk about your athletic abilities like that, bro? Probably in the NBA in the 60s, that's not bad. <laughs> Jake, you would have definitely made the league. Like, you would have got some runs. I'm locking up Bob Cousy. You would have. Uh, <laughs> all right hand. I'm like, first off, we'll yo, have yo, no yo, less. The, the fadeaway, he got a, his fadeaway. It's tough. going to the same side. Fadeaway every is kind of tough, though. Single. But nobody stopped that it. That fadeaway Listen. is kind of tough. But nobody kind of stopped that it. That fadeaway is kind of tough, bro. Listen. I, I think he could put up 30. Nobody. Thirty one. You think Will Chamberlain's putting up thirty in, in today's NBA? No, no, we're talking about the sixties. Hold on, 60s? wait. Oh yeah. I hope no. people do that. Well, Don't he put that. up fifty in this. He's not <laughs> putting, he ain't putting up thirty today. Today. No. Yeah. Today. No. Like Tyson Chandler's sending his shot to like Neptune. Yeah, he's not bro. putting up thirty. <laughs> like yeah, Dwight Howard's abusing him. Who mm. else? LeBron. Like Dwight Howard's abusing him. Who else? LeBron is stripping him. Like yeah, he's not putting. Up 30. Like, yeah, he's not putting up 30. The athletic ability that these guys. I mean, have. you also have to think about like Mm-mm-mm. timing, man. Well, you're like not if he, so you don't know. Okay. Well, well, I'm joking. First of all, <laughs> let's not go there. You're not an athlete. You don't even understand. Okay, I, the I'm, I'm, as an athlete, I uh, think that if listen, he were, I, were around this time, yeah, he'd be, you know, up there too. Like he, he was up there back then. But it's like you got to think about back then. They he would didn't be have a as con- many resources. He would be a contributing NBA player. He'd be very good. I'm not a contributing. That, yeah. But talk about averaging 50, getting 100 not, points a game. God, like no, no, you're no. saying, if he was born in like. If, he, if Will Chamberlain was born in, in 1982, like 19, right? Okay. Come on, son. Like, like, 
But what is he, he 39. What is he doing with Dwight Howard? Well, I'm like, saying. Dwight I'm Howard. saying. Like, he's not doing nothing with Dwight what Howard. What is he doing with, like... Is, with what like he, he ain't doing nothing with DeMarcus like Cousins. <laughs> like, he ain't doing nothing with a lot of players right now. He don't even look that physical. <laughs> Oh, like a big tree stump. I just, but that's back then. He didn't have anything. And we talking about now. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. If he was born nah, like '85, nah, right? I don't know, bro. Oh, no, look bro. a little, look a little shaky to me. But well, I mean, Brian, I, I don't even trust that footage. <laughs> Not gonna hate. Too much color in that footage. Listen, it did look Not like enough It did look like footage. 2K for a minute. <laughs> right. Like, like, I, I don't that's know what who, it looked like. I don't know who put that together, but I don't. There's something about that I don't trust. It's 2K for sure. Yeah, but speaking of the NBA, the NBA season is just about to kick off. Yeah. You know what time it is. I think tomorrow. Tomorrow kicks off with the Lakers and Warriors. Oh, tomorrow starts the, the so, Tuesday. So, yeah, Tuesday and then mm. Wednesday, the Knicks and Celtics on oh, ESPN. Oh, it's live. I've, I've, I've missed the NBA. We've been tuned into the preseason. Mm. Um, these teams look promising. Obviously, the whole thing with you know Kyrie, unfortunate situation. But you know he's a man of his own, so he get to choose what he wants to do. Um, so is he not playing? No, nah, so he's, he's not playing. playing. He's not, yeah, I he thought he was gonna play and take that cut. Nah, no, 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 so he, didn't, he hasn't um, gotten vaccinated. Because at first they said they were gonna charge him per game. Initially they were gonna try and make it work, right? Yeah. But the Brooklyn Nets were like, we can't have a part time player. That yeah, were, it's either you're in or you're out. In or you're out. So and I and I love the way Kevin responded, um, you know, to one of the questions from reporters. All right. And the reporter was actually trying to like egg him on to get mad and respond in a way because that's a natural human reaction. Right. It's like you got this guy who pretty much helped put this team together, yeah. And you know, and he was like, "Yo, bro, I'm not gonna get mad at him. Like that's no. his personal decision." And even if he is mad, I ain't gonna tell y'all that I'm mad. At him. <laughs> right? Like, I ain't I'm telling y'all. I'm gonna be mad at home. Like, yeah, I'm gonna be mad, you know, in his text or whatever the case is. And he was like, "Yo, bro, like I respect what he wants to do, but." I respect the Nets also as an organization. They have to move forward. They have to, you know, look out for the, you know, the season that's coming up and be healthy and be yep. contenders. And it's just like you got to pick your poison. Got to pick your but poison. But didn't right a, a, um, wasn't something passed saying like for religion purposes you? So you, you had to either get uh, you had to get an exemption for religious purpose. I know Andrew Wiggins tried to get uh, an exemption for religious purpose. Because I, I saw the like, meme. Yeah, not, nah, son, not, <laughs> not, <laughs> I saw the Kyrie meme where yeah. the, they were like, the judge says this next day, Kyrie. <laughs> <He was all laughs> <laughs> Got a koofy on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, nah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wiggins, Wiggins was like, all right, well. Yeah, so they, they got got to take that shot, man. <laughs> And speaking of which, apparently Cam Newton finally got his vaccination, yeah, and he, he was did. like, "Yo, so, I'm ready to play." So yeah, I mean, so now any team can sign him. Is Listen, that the reason why he got let go? Uh, I mean, there was rumors that you know it was not, it wasn't helping his case. I mean, yeah, he, I mean, he said, I forgot what interview it was, but he was like, he was a distraction to the Patriots, the organization of you know how he is, how he right. talks, how he communicates, how he dresses, and. I feel like it was because of you know the whole COVID thing, but you know. So let's make let's make the let's make the long. How he dresses, show. the man could. Like, well, the dress. He can't dress. I'm about to say like. I can't be spiffy. No, no, no. That was <laughs> to just my like, game. That was just like one of the elements that he feels like Sheesh. you know the Patriots organization and doesn't really mesh with him, right? And just him as a person. And right. We know, we know it's not that. Like that's I don't Tom, think it's that. I don't think it's, I don't, that. it's Tom Brady over there. That was Tom Brady, Bill Belichick. You know, that's a different. Fine tune yeah. organization, right? So, but know. I put it like this, right? So uh, apparently, you know, Kyrie Irving, who's been here for what three years now, mm -hmm. he was eligible for an extension, and I think if he doesn't get this extension and he doesn't want to play, he's potentially losing up to two hundred million dollars. But isn't he guaranteed exactly. seventeen this year? Well, yeah, he's yeah. like he's gonna get his money this year. Right. But you know, I think obviously if he doesn't show up, he's I mean, he said he's like it's not about the money, it's not about right. none of that, and it's like yo, bro, like. I, you got to respect someone that's standing on that hill and whether you agree well, with him or not. You can inject me with cheese whiz for $200 million, bro. <laughs> like, <laughs> you can inject me with with whatever's in your cup for $200 million. I was, I was on TikTok because I love TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I saw this comedian skit and he was talking about Kyrie about yeah. how much money he's losing. Yeah. And he said... He had a list of things that he would get done for two hundred million. <laughs> mm. One of them was he would wear a Black Lives Matter tee to an All Lives Matter pep rally. <laughs> then he would wear an All Lives Matter tee to a Black Lives Matter pep rally. And the last thing he said, which was the most funniest shit and the most just like whatever. He was like, I would get vaccinated for two hundred million. Yes, <laughs> as you should. I mean, listen, I respect the man who's willing to stand on his moral bro, I grounds. I get it, man. I get it. But bro, I'm he's like, I hate. I, those. Yo, I get it. It's I a lot of it. money. I respect I it, man. It. Like, I, you know, 
I'm indifferent to this situation, but I'm not going to sit here and condemn or just, you know, try to talk down to somebody that has their beliefs and doesn't want certain things in their body. And like, who am I to, you know, who am I to who, judge? Who would he judge? Who, who am I to judge? judge you know? I mean, I respect that he's standing on it versus yeah. people who were like, I'm not doing it. And then they fold it. Yeah. <laughs> like, well, a lot of people fold it. Wiggins folded. Wiggins Cam Newton something to fold. But, yeah, you know, God. shout out to Kyrie. It's going to be a crazy NBA season. It's going to be a crazy. As long as Brooklyn stays healthy, yeah. you know. Kevin stays healthy. James stays healthy. You know, I think. <laughs> Bro, put the vodka down, <laughs> man. But look at the what name. What are we doing? Look at the name. Vodka. <laughs> yes. Because they have not paid for this. Bro, like, like we're going to be vodka, here. Vodka. If we're going to do this show. Like, they got to get us in our full what we do. That's true. Pass okay, me a cup, like, Kaz. Exactly. Yeah, up. pass you the cup. Yeah. <laughs> this is what it's like doing a, a boarded show <laughs> with us. Yo, this episode of Say Less is brought to you by McDonald's, oh, proudly man. serving communities yes. since 1965. Ooh. I mean, we've all, I don't know if you guys, I've had birthday parties at McDonald's when I was super Me young, too. right? Yes. Got in the play pit, yeah. you know what I mean? Jumped in the ball. Yes. yes. Ball pits? All what? that. All, all that. the fries. Bro, but the, the thing about McDonald's for me yeah. is the breakfast. Yes. And going to school with that McDonald's. That McMuffin, mm. that hash brown, mm. we just had we it. Just had and it. that tall <laughs> orange juice and sitting right in the front of the class. That's right. And eating your breakfast because you just came from the doctor and your mother's treating you. <laughs> and, and no one could tell you nothing. That's McDonald's <laughs> breakfast. Yeah, hit them with the we got McDonald's. No, just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> anyway, shout out McDonald's. I'm loving it. Yes. <laughs> All right, let's move on. Hello. Let's yeah. pass the aux to you, brother. We'll Ooh, talk about our sports and get into our music. What do you want to start, man? Let's talk about Young Thug, man. New album, Punk, just dropped this um, week. Yeah, He's new, on SNL. I love him. New album, Young Thug, uh, you know, has feet. <laughs> See? This is exactly why, guys. This is exactly why. Hello. Has features from uh, J. Cole, uh, Travis Scott, Drizzy Drake, um... Homeboy from Fun, yeah, lead singer, yeah, uh, who actually performed with him on SNL. Um, was you, was you messing you with more. the album? Did you, listen, did you have to listen? You know, honestly, I was gonna ask you, Lo, are you a Thug fan? I'm not. I'm not the biggest Thug advocate, mm. um, but I pick. I pick and choose my my spots. With so are you are you a fan? A, yeah, yeah, yeah. You a fan of guest feature Thug or, or no? More? He's got he's got a couple joints. Yeah, you know, solo joints that I do love. I do That's like slime. Question. I like slime too. Yeah, that was a good question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like slime too. Um, I like the features he had on there. Um, I do like this album more than I like the previous ones, mm. the other ones. But um, you know, Thug is a unique character in the industry that's you know helped a lot of these young guys. You know, the whole story about him paying little baby to stay out the streets. Yeah, paying him the rap. Thug, Thug. Um, <laughs> you know, a lot of guys respect him. Tip, Hove, Cole. He was the he was the 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 inf inspiration. To the number one song in the country, way too sexy. Way too sexy, yeah. You know. Drake and Future. Was he? Yeah. Yeah. So apparently they were like in the studio making a song, and Future looked at Young Thug and was like, "Yo, you want some sexy? You want some sexy stuff shit today? Right yeah. <laughs> you got to be very confident in your homeboy to call him sexy." You well, know I've known you for a long time. I don't think I've ever called you sexy. In my life, yeah, you know, you've never called me sexy. I mean, you Lo, Lo me sexy is like, "You owe me it." I've called Lo, you handsome. I've called you handsome. I've called you handsome. I want everyone to know that Lo looks sad about that. He looked down and was like, "You never really complimented me." Well, you're not a sexy guy. Let me be honest. You're not ugly. I'll never call you. Ugly. I see. Sexy is oh, a I different word. Sexy though. is a very different word. Like you know, for for Thug to be had called sexy, he must have been wearing like a fur. <laughs> no, he was probably in there no, smoking with his fur no, on and yeah. some sunglasses. No, no, that's, no, that's cool. That's cool. And Future looked over like, Yo, this is not how I envisioned. Shirt. I get the, it. Uh, the new show. I can't picture you <laughs> Lo, with a fur. You don't take like, enough fashion to risk to be considered sexy. That for, uh, for, uh, no. You first don't. Of all, no, 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 you don't. Like, now you're pissing. Like, now, you're not now, a sexy now, guy, now, bro. Now I'm about to go here. All right, listen. No, now I'm about to go Because you got a nice haircut. Right, you got a haircut, <laughs> and, I, and I and I compliment you. Do you see my skin though? No, like no, no. Like, I, I, I compliment you on your haircut. <laughs> yes. You know, I like the. I don't Appreciate know what that. you added to the the hairline because okay. of the cul-de-sac the last four weeks. First of all, I was growing no, it. No, no, I was growing, growing it. I, no, right. Right. I, okay, you not, We're not going to talk about hairlines either. All right, all right. Okay, Pet. <laughs> like, all right, Chia Pet. Because that's, that's not even your this hair. This good health. That's not even your hair. This is health. Chia. Eat your vegetables. That's drink your water. That's not even your hair, bro. Run around. You want to rub it? You want to rub it? I'm not going to get worked up on a Monday. He said you got plug it. I'm not going to get worked up on a Monday. Yes, you are. I'm trying to... I'm Anyways, Thugga is a sexy down. man. Very sexy. He, man. But he's not attractive. Pause. He's just sexy. Thugga's not attractive. He's sexy. It's different. 
You gotta like have a certain a little, confidence. You gotta have a little. Yeah, oh, he's just confident. He something. just wears what he, he has he's outfits. Second. I want. So all right. So I'm not confident. No. <laughs> are you serious? I'm not saying you're insecure. I'm not saying you're insecure, bro. But I mean, right, cool. wow. you gotta have a certain level of wow, putting nice. yourself out there to be considered sexy. You know what I mean? In your cargo mini pockets, are you putting yourself out there? <laughs> yeah. First He's, off, you see this you salmon? I'm wearing mauve. You see this mauve, bro? You have strip away this. ankle wear on? Look at this, bro. Are those buttons? Talking about, you see my socks? You see the material? I really <laughs> I know you your feet are hot, bro. I know your feet are hot. They're not hot. They're very slim and silky. I really like it. This nigga puts on a colorful sweater. I'm sexy and handsome. <laughs> Fuck. I mean, I'm sorry. Get the hell out of here. If you ever want to be sexy, bro. You got you to gotta come out of the... the you got to wear pink ones. You gotta, I'm, I'm, bro, I'm good. No, the key to being sexy on, as a man, good. you got to wear pink ones. You got to. I, you know what I get complimented on a lot? My skin. All right. Mm. Black, pe- black do, men specifically. I do get a lot of compliments on my skin. Black men specifically skin. always you. have very good skin, usually. We don't have to do much. Like right. Women are very jealous of our skin, usually, because you know putting mask on, mm. doing hair, wash, all this stuff. Mm. Like, well, women wear makeup and stuff, so we have to do extra stuff. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. A lot of just, wear just throwing on, it out there. Yeah, skin, yeah. My, my, my lady's always just like, you do absolutely nothing to your face, and you've never had a blood. Uh, he yeah, also I puts got, nothing yeah. on his it's, face. Yeah, it's just soap, water, and money in business. Wow. That's literally it. Wow. That's it. That's why I tell all the women. When was like, the last? Wait. Soap oh, water wine. You said soap water. I thought you said drink water. I was gonna say. Well, no, you drink it. Drink water. I drink water uh, every morning. But you like the? But you, did you check? I do. I, I do. I do like the album. Um, I'm on still, SNL uh, though, you saw him on SNL. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I wouldn't wear that, but that's the. And... <laughs> How was no, his I'm, SNL I'm, performance? Because he's. It was. I mean, it was. It was cool. It wasn't nothing mind blowing, but it was just like his the performance. And... Be, he, like he's so lazy. He's a very lazy performer, but a lot of these rappers today are lazy on stage. Here's the thing. The album was... I was trying to think of one that isn't. The album was like easy listening rap, right? Like, it was Two a chains. lot of... It was very... Cole recently, he picked up on... on oh, yeah. He's yeah, doing yeah. better. 2 Chain's not lazy. Mm-hmm. I like My bad, keep going. No, 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 go ahead. Um, no, nah, I mean, the album's very easy listening, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, very he, easy he went with some done. piano, doing like, he was very melodic, sexy. you know what I'm saying? Very sexy. See? Very, so, like, even when I saw him being, like, mm-hmm. you know, keyed up to perform at SNL, I was just like... That's an odd choice. Yeah, no, that Love You More collaboration is SNL-ish. Yes. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I could see, you know, the the lead singer from Fun, that and, and, and it's SNL. So like that, that, that crowd, that collaboration does make sense. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So I wasn't mad at that. I obviously had the pink fur coat on, the tight pink, you know, that stuff. You know? Yeah. So, you know, I, I mess with it. Like it's not my first go-to when I wake up, but mm. you know, it's it's a, it's a, it's an easy listen. Like, Depends on the day. Thing. Yeah. I'm gonna give it a spin. I'm gonna give it a spin. Yeah, so I, no, I mess with it. I like but you know, you know what it is though. You see us all in. We're in our furs. We're in our, not furs. We're in our long sleeve shirts and mm-hmm. sweaters. Mm-hmm. Fall is here. Right. The fall is not. Fall left. Fall has fell. <laughs> that means it's fell. it's a Dell season. Fall did a drive by. Uh, I'm, like, I'm like, where the uh, hell? I'm like, where the hell are you going with it's this? It's a Dell season, uh, guys. You got your pumpkin spice lattes yes, and your do. sad tunes, yes. boy. Adele dropped a new record this past week. Do First, you have to be all right. Sad so to before we, to sad before, music? yeah, oh my god. Uh, before we get into that, I want to give a huge shout to um to Raven. Yes, who, shout out Ravy B, friend yes. of the show. Who's yes. been yes. who's been like you know with Adele over the past couple months and shot photos for she shot the the, the single cover work and mm-hmm. video you know on video set. So big shout out to Ravy B for you know being by Adele's side for and, being and her, being her, and just <laughs> you know making beautiful work. Now the single um, "Easy on Me" is pretty much a description of her divorce from her husband mm. and um, her talking to her son, pretty much about the divorce and how she couldn't give or show the right amount of love to her to her son because right. of the divorce, right, right, because right. of yeah. um, them being unhappy, not being miserable, but just the marriage not working. And not knowing how to make it work. So the, the the theme of Adele's albums have always been like ages, right? And, it, and, and so, the, yeah, yeah. so the album's called Thirty. So the album comes 30. out. It comes out November nineteenth. Yes. And the first single is Easy on Me. Yeah. yeah. And uh, you know, Adele's been through a lot. Like she doesn't drop something unless she has something to say, right? right? Yeah. Like she's an extremely 
personal mm-hmm. artist. Like mm-hmm. she will let you mm-hmm. into her life mm-hmm. and let you know like what's been going on. And right. you know, the divorce was very well publicized. There was a lot of, there was a lot of uh, uh 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 men like throwing the fists up like, "Yes, king, yeah. get your get your money." Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. All this stuff. So, but now it's time to hear the other side. Now it's yeah, time to hear. And, and that's what she was very adamant about. Um she wanted I think she had, she had wrote the single I think a couple months before the divorce, yeah. if I'm not mistaken, and this is just her getting her thoughts out, to, like you just said, telling her side of the story. And on a recent Instagram interview or IG Live, she was they were like, well, "What's the album about?" She was like, "Divorce, baby, divorce." Uh, uh. And it's like reliving those moments, going through that. You know, Rosie, you do not look happy about that. <laughs> going through those trials and tribulations, and then having a kid also involved in that, it has to be gut wrenching. Because I want to know why do you. Have to be sad to listen to sad music. It's, do you I mean, listen to sad music when you're happy? I mean, I could be in a good place and still listen to sad music. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes I want to make sure I could still be sad. But can you can you so, uh, can you truly <laughs> enjoy the album if you can't really get a good? Well, because you've been sad, because you've been sad before in life, right? So sometimes you could be in a great place. You're like, I feel like hearing this. Yeah. Just to see if it taps into when you were sad. Yo, go back on vacation. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just, I don't, no, I don't I'm just saying, you don't have to be sad. Like, I, don't, to... I don't know this like okay. mind twisting thing you're trying to do right now. Well, because yeah. Rosie's Rosie's happy in life and still yeah. can enjoy sad music. I, yeah, no, I don't, he don't, I don't like. like <laughs> He's like, I'm, be sad or don't I'm listen. I'm mad to it. apprehensive about like what's going on with your <laughs> new attitude and. Just, What's I don't wrong? like this. What's wrong? I don't like this Rosie. Goes to Jamaica once. <laughs> right, like I don't go Comes back to Jamaica. Back like peace, man. <laughs> like where's this, yeah, this, this zen-like oh, no. attitude that's coming? Like nah, I don't like that. I Listen, <laughs> if you can't get your sad girl Autumn on or your sad boy Autumn right, on because right. of Adele, well, it's when you're, okay. When you're sad, you listen to happy music, right? This is true. I don't. Some people when do. I'm, when I'm sad, like, so I, why can't I, I double be happy down. You double down the I, sad? <laughs> what? I double down. Like, I'm going to be extra sad. I listen like, like I've had a terrible day. You know what I could go for? Some mood music some three. More. <laughs> <laughs> no. Hell no. With some liquor. Oh. Bro, I be, I be sad sometimes. I'm like, yo, let me put on Ordinary <laughs> Love song. Oh, what my the? God. I'm you're like, it's like. You're a sick man for yeah, that I'm now. very sick. I'm you're very, very. Yeah, when I'm sad, I'm like, I get down. But man, every everybody tuck your albums away though, because once Adele drops, Adele's been a streaming. Yeah, beast. It's, it's Adele season, November nineteenth. Mm. I'm hearing mumblings of a Kendrick project coming. I am. There's no mumbling. The she said it. I'm also hearing the same rumbling. No, no, no. I'm saying like I was saying a di- no. I'm saying a date, not uh, like. I mean, oh, yeah, we know, yeah, we know, yeah. Top of the morning. No, I just see. I just morning, I, I saw the something morning. on the internet saying like it Smoke might be November twenty second or tonight. something like that. Yeah. Uh, but he's coming very soon. Who else? I feel like he always drops in November. Wale. Does he? Well, he always. He's a oh, Wale, yeah, Wale's coming Friday. I was about to say, oh, new Wale album. Yeah, Wale. Drop a Friday yeah, for Lauren too. And Wale. Then, uh, Don Sorry, Kennedy dropped Wale. this past Friday mm. uh, from the West Side with Love Three. Mm. Um, so yeah, it was a lot of new music that hit the hit the streaming services this week. And shout out my brother Wale for Lauren too dropping yeah, this week. Uh, yeah. That poke it out though. Poke it out, man. Listen, Ooh. that that the flip of vibrant thing from Q Tip. Got Wale Jay has in the club. Wale's got about three, three from Florin, two on deck. You yeah. know, the joint with him and Chris Brown. Chris Brown joint fire. Joint with, um, Down Hammond. South from Maxwell yeah, Cream. Cream. Oh, Maxwell Cream's new album um, is, is out. Shout out Homegirl Dimple. Shout out yeah, Kellen. Shout out Kellen. That album as and well. then shout out Hip Boy for doing the latest single, uh, Green Knots. Yes. Or, yeah, I think that's what it's called. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Maxwell Cream got a nice banger. He's got uh, features from ASAP Rocky. Freddie Gibbs, uh, fuck, can't remember the other ones, but it's out. So get that, stream that, um, and yeah, Did man. You listen to, um, Rosie, I know you 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 listen to Wale a lot. You a Wale uh, I'm a Wale mixtape. You like the Wale mixtapes? Yeah. Are, are he probably hates when people say that, but I do. He always wants people to like his new stuff. You know what I'm saying? I like, just after after mixtapes, I went like a different route and I stopped really listening. I'm there's sorry. a lot of people like that too. Like what? there's a lot of artists that I, I, I've only liked mix. Like I'm a big like mixtape whiz guy. Like, oh, see, that's a whole different. Yeah, I mean, whiz. like, mixtape and we were talking. I was guy. talking about that on Twitter the other day too. I was like, Taylor Alderdice is probably one of his best projects. That's my favorite one, if not the best one. Yeah, yeah Cabin Fever, which was a surprise project. Nine mm-hmm. songs, him and uh, Lex Luger. Um, Christian OJ, obviously one of the the classics. Um, yep. Yeah, his albums to me. Who um, was? Yeah, his albums to me don't really fare that well or age that well. Uh, but his mixtapes like Twenty Eight yeah. Grams, 
fire. But well. also with Wale, I was, I'm a huge Seinfeld fan. There so you go. like the fact that his mixtapes all kind of like yeah centered around that more baby. about nothing, yes. album about nothing, yeah. all that type was, of stuff. That like was dope to me. I mean, he was kind of ahead of his time with that dropping like the Seinfeld references. Mm-hmm. And I was like, not a black man that watches Seinfeld. Honestly, I though, love it. <laughs> I've only was kind of a little bit of a Seinfeld fan before. I didn't start I watching Seinfeld until that's, about that's, two. I think that's what reeled me in on it. I was like, he can rap, he can flow, and he watches Seinfeld. Yeah, <laughs> but no, Falaran two dropping this yeah. week. Can't wait for that. Um, Should I listen to Falaran one first? Yeah, go. I mean, yeah, no, that's I a, that, that, that was that was a tape with DJ Clark Kent. Great mixtape yeah. as well. Features with uh, Two Chains, uh, Trinidad James, Reset Michelle, French Montana. Yep. Um, Chinks. Yep. Oh, uh, that was a great mixtape. Great mixtape. Yeah, great so, mixtape. So I'm expecting that kind of vibe on for Lauren too. Rosie. Yep. Did you check out the uh verses last night? I did not. Did you check out the verses last night? I was night? not even home. Um, yet. I saw enough of it right. to understand one, you know, they sold out Barclays, which is not They sold game. it out? Bro, that shit was packed. It looked packed, man. Uh, I, don't know I, I mean, whatever they did, it looked it looked good. Mm. Whose um, verses was it? KRS One versus Big Daddy Kane. Mm-hmm. Oh, I said, huh? Put okay. The with the team, too. Huh. All, so, the all our, so all our parents. Huh. Were That's in why there. old heads hate us. That right there. <laughs> that right there is why they hate us. It was a fire. There's the thing. But they were all in there. It there's was the all parents. Yeah, I mean, of course. My expectations for Big Daddy Kane versus KRS One was very low. Because it was like, all right, like I never, I mean, you know, legends are legends. They don't need to prove nothing to me, whatever, mm-hmm. whatever. Mm-hmm. But what I took away from it, what a lot of rappers or a lot of fans of hip hop can take away from it, is that the performance, we talked about rappers not being great performers, yeah. mm-hmm. Young Thug and, you know, great song, but just very too cool for school, whatever. KRS One and Big Daddy Kane were par four. Me. I mean, you gotta understand. They come from a different. Lineage. Not rapping over your own vocals. Yeah, they they come from a different lineage of hip hop. They come from a different, um, ex- extensive, expressive, uh, compassion when it comes to to, to rapping. And right. To bars. You know, like these are these are two guys who set the standards for a lot of our favorite artists. Yep. You feel what I'm saying? So when you have a battle like that, I mean, if you looked in the crowd, like. Yeah, Buster Rhymes in the crowd. Chad Joe was there. Yeah, they like, was looking on like wide eyed, like these right. are my heroes. It's just like you feel these, me? Are, you know, obviously like Hove has also, you know, always said he's gotten always inspiration got love from, from Big, yeah, Big Big Daddy Kane. So when you look at that and you see how monumental it is, and you see how much people still care. Yes, you know, even to go to a show like that, even to watch it on online, you got to just sometimes you got to just sit back and just. Pay respect, give flowers, clap your hands, like yeah, that Bye. like you said, it might be like ah who like, uh, like yeah, but bro, like that's <laughs> that's, that's where it came that's from. The that's standard. the standard, that's like that, that's the like elements. KRS One, Big Daddy Kane, like all those guys are the standard to the guys that we love. Well, that's the reason why a lot of people, you know, they, they don't want to be an old curmudgeon. You never want to be that old guy yeah, in the club. Course, but bro. like you see a dude like Big Daddy Kane who's still got crazy breath, breath control that enunciates every single word, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like that has records, mm-hmm. like and it felt like an actual battle. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? Like a lot of Because that's ones, that's where they come from. A lot of Karis One's biggest records were battle records. They were beef records. Yeah, they were yeah. like going at you. I'm the best. Then yeah. then then and then 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 and then then like I didn't watch a cast. It was it was, it was <laughs> Did I age myself with this? Like, no, you're not. No, nigga. You're, you're, no you're, you're not. You're a fan. You're a student. No, you're, you're a consumer What's of hip hop. Like, you didn't. But age see, this is what I'm saying, like, bro. Like, I hate the fact that we can't sit here or we can't have conversations. Like, yeah, I do love Karis One. Yeah, I love Big Daddy Kane. Yeah, I love you know MC Light and you know so on and so forth. Like, these guys set the standard for us to be hip hop yes. aficionados, and it's like, yeah, that's what verses is about. Yes. Sometimes I mean, you look like you. Came for, straight from the '80s today, yo. You got the, the said, huh. about to the spin on your head real quick. Do a headstand. I said my I name was Low boy. when I came to hey. say KRS One is not to play. Hey, huh. put my pigeon hat. Now he doesn't I think headstand. That's on. wings on my feet. Yes, <laughs> Guys. my white Air Forces might be dusty. It don't matter though, cause I'm rusty. Hey. Can't freestyle going Guys, in. You were, <laughs> you were, you were at your baby shower. <laughs> Kaz, you were at your baby shower, looking good, <laughs> looking the f good. At on Saturday, 
Kaz was at his baby shower just like a 70s priest. <laughs> Like a, a, 70s a, a 70s priest. I did see that. He had, this, this, he had this sweater and or had a principal. His, and, no, no, or a priest. <laughs> Not a principal, a priest. He gave and me had his vibe. and had the collar <laughs> so tight. Yeah. Up here and then had this Confidence. ugly ass blazer on. Confidence. And Lord knows what kind of shoes he had on. <laughs> but because it was a day that he was celebrating shout his out Brooks child. Brothers, shout out. And Kohan. the wife was there, and the family was there, and we just were all just happy. And he was just yeah, just let him be. Hot I had to let him be, but mm. boy, let me tell you, you but don't like, know you know you how to play <laughs> when you know I got my act like yo, you know <laughs> my bro. You don't know. Kaz had his interview oh. right. Thank, thank you. Yes, Kaz had his interview. His fit interview. On. Fit <laughs> That's what Kaz had on. That's what every black man Kaz wears. Was looking on like interview. he was going to interview for an IT job. <laughs> Yeah, I was trying to get into Duke with that. <laughs> I was like, all right. I was like, all right, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I was like, oh, bro, I'm going to let him live. It's a thing. It's a baby. I, clearly, I'm I've never had him. a baby. Yo, and before. also, let me yeah, tell you something no, about really. Kaz. Kaz will wear the hottest sweater <laughs> to any event. Anywhere. It don't Anywhere. matter where he's you mean going. Hot, hottest as in like it's no, no. <laughs> Look at that. Sweltering. That is wool. Listen, bro, the layers under you a had, blazer. The layers you had on that day. And it wasn't, yo, listen, it wasn't cool in that little ballroom we was in. Well, everybody me, else is chilling. Let me tell you Everybody about, else is chilling. Let me tell you about my day that day, Got bro. that Go tight ahead, ass Explain priest yourself. collar. I started my day oh, yeah, yeah, at yeah, Dykeman. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh, I was in Dykeman. Oh, no, I saw yeah. that. Shout out to the New York Knicks. I was playing in the New York Knicks celebrity game. Tracy Morgan was there. Mm -hmm. Leon was there. Mm -hmm. Um, man, John Wallace, John Starks, mm -hmm. Ja Rule. Mm -hmm. um, Jay, uh, uh, not Jay wasn't there. Uh, guys, the Charles Sprewell packed house. It was so much fun. Mm -hmm. As soon as the game was over, as soon as halftime was over, I booked you it. Put on a wool sweater. Put on a wool sweater. <sighs> Shout out to Brooks Brothers. Brooks Brothers got me right. You know what I'm saying? Brooks Brothers. I didn't want to go. I, I, I didn't want to go. Suit. I don't know if that's the right description. They got you mm -hmm. right. I didn't want to guess. So they got me right, bro. Yeah, outfit all. couldn't get any whiter until you yeah, said Brooks really Brothers. Couldn't. Listen, really? I was looking tired. <laughs> You're oh boy, I hated this photo so much. You remember that meme that of that dude that, that listen, was trying to be Michael Jordan? It's literally a dad at the body. park. It's literally a you dad You know who body. I'm talking about. I know exactly. He had on the whole Jordan fit. I know exactly what you're talking about, but man. Yes, guys. My man looks I'm like, tired. yo, I did not I'm like that jersey. You know what I'm talking about? That, that jersey do no justice. Was was definitely not being very like kind. You didn't, have, my your, body. You didn't have your sports bra? No. That, wow. <laughs> I didn't have my sports bro on that night. You're, that, you're, you're you running know, that I joke into the ground. Rocks. You're running that joke. No, no. It was funny the first two times, brother. You're running it into the ground, family. <laughs> give me some new. Give me some new material. Nah, but yo, I was like, I saw that. I was like, bro, I gotta go on a diet. Why did you? Why did you repost it? Somebody said my guy going for thirty days. I was like, this picture was, was gonna, like he's not going, going for thirty. What? Don't be. Don't be. Don't be That's fooled. Going don't be fooled. I have what? buckets though. I, I had mean, like I mean, ten. You didn't have. I had ten. Explain you get the half. I left the half time. You said eight. Oh, you left the half time. So you had ten and a half. Oh, I thought you said ten and a half. I said explain the half. Man's had eight. Please explain the half. Had eight points. You know what I mean. Man's had eight points. Eight points. So you rounded up. John Starks is my coach. You know what I mean. Ray Felton was on my team. Uh, it was good, but I saw that photo. That like, picture like, is not. That's what I look that's, like. Yeah, that's ugly. I'm like, you I'm not that big. That ain't that ain't. You are not going for thirty in that picture. It don't look like it, but that ain't it. I have butt. You should, yeah. You should have gone. You should have gone for thirty push-ups. You should have gone well, for. You still it. can't beat me in a race, though. So what's up with that? Uh, yeah, I think I can. Yeah, I don't think you could. Mm, with a body like that, yeah, I think I can. Because yeah, that was like six it. months ago. Yeah, you're still not faster than me. Nah, we can race outside. We can. We can do this again. We can do it again. We can, we can get you embarrassed again, bro. Mm -hmm. You're gonna lose to a guy to race that looks like that. My foot is healed. So. Eight point. Oh, oh, oh yeah. I'm about to say you can run now. Run around the world. Bro, you was that? That's how you run. No, 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 no. I'm ready. It's a little warm. Oh, you're doing the the you chicken noodle soup just now. Huh? I thought I tried to let it rain and clear it out. Like, was that? I let it <laughs> rain and clear it out. This really oh, said I'm going for thirty. Get the hell out of here. That right. picture was. I saw that you reposted it. Brutal. Like, Why? It looked crazy. Yeah, I reposted it. I was like, Nah, I'm going. I'm, I'm gonna delete that. Early. Brutal. <laughs> Please delete, delete that. that. I'm going on a diet, guys. Hold me accountable. Hold me accountable. Anyway, we about to wrap up soon. Rosie, how's Jamaica? Talk to me about it, man. <clears throat> yeah, that, man. Oh, yeah, the that? Adventures of Rosie. Can we still do that? Let's go around the world with Rosie. Yeah, man. 
Um, well, Don't I was in Puerto Rico first. Yes. Oh my I was gosh. In Puerto Rico oh. first, and then from Yemen. Yeah, no, 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 no. Yemen. Yeah, too light. Too light. Can you say that? <laughs> what? First of all, <laughs> Caribbeans have no type of. All right. Anyway, so I went <laughs> from Puerto not. Rico, which what? not on my on my top list of places to go back to. Oh wow. Okay. But um, what like food wise? Food liquor? was very bland. The liquor was liquor. Oh, liquor was the food was kind of like eh, whatever. Um. Mm-hmm. They didn't really have great cocktails, um, and the beach was trash. The beach, damn, wow. the beach, damn, Puerto Rico. No, the beach <laughs> was it was beautiful, but to get in the water was trash. It was really? beating you up. The currents well, were that's, crazy. That's the American part of Puerto Rico. Yeah, it's well, the, the, wait, so you, you the were mad American at the, part. You, <laughs> wait, you were mad at the current. I was mad at the at the beach not being like just. Rose, you just out there cur- cursing out nature, yeah. <laughs> right? Like, yeah, like oh, let she, me get she, in. She was cursing out the undertow. Like, how yes. dare you? How, like, why I can't get in and just chill? Then I went to Jamaica. Dare you, water sorry. was still sorry. inviting. Nice. Come on in. Nice. Everything was great. That's what the water told you. Yeah. Come on it in. It was chill. Now Jamaica was a vibe. I'm surprised I haven't been there before. Look a little crunchy. I see the tans. I, good. I'm going back. Good. Going back and back again. Um, drinks were good. Mm-hmm. Every there are extra, any medium uglies out there. there I, yeah, you, yeah, it was yeah, the, the island, uglies? the island of the medium uglies. Oh, sh- I met a different person. I met like two guys a day. <laughs> you met two guys a day, like that were sh- medium ugly to my standards. Yeah. You know, Ro- Rosie. Lo- oh, that's Rosie what doesn't. You meant. Rosie doesn't like her guys. I was in paradise. Oh, too that's what you meant. They Rosie were all like kind of ugly but ugly. funny. Yeah, and I was like, that's, yes. That's I'm, right I'm, right I'm reading the text. I'm like, what the? It's just mad burner boys everywhere. I'm like, yo, I'm like, I'm thinking like, yo, she talking about t-shirts? She's like, it's medium. Like, I'm, like, I'm in medium heaven. I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm like, what the hell? Like, am I drunk? I'm like, yo, let me put my phone down. You were drunk. I was. You were drunk. I'm like, let me put my phone down because I don't know what the hell she's talking about right Cass now. Cass was like, you're gonna love it out there. I was like, I do love it out here. <laughs> Not only are they medium ugly, they're all nice. With accents. I'm like, is that a new size t-shirt that she discovered in Jamaica? No. I didn't, I didn't know what the hell was Listen, going on. Listen, Jamaica is, I top, top 10. I, I recommend Jamaica 10 out of 10. Fire. That's it's nice. fire. The excursions, the beaches, Bruh. the drinks. The fact that you can get rolled joints. It's kind of like Amsterdam. You can go to a bar and, and they well, have I mean, I rolled smoke, joints. I don't, I, don't I, don't I don't smoke either. Yeah, but I will in Jamaica. It's not that great. Uh, I've had, yeah. Jamaican weed's not good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not that fire? No, if, you're, if you're getting them off the street, like, yeah. It's not no, they have stores. Somebody. Yes, they do. They have so, stores. Like, I went hookah? to a bar that, yes, I went to a hookah bar. I, I went there every day. Mm. And um, <laughs> downstairs, it was like a joint bar. Like, you could order the- A weed bar, you mean? Yeah. Yeah? Oh, sure. Well, don't worry. Be happy. Right. Jamaica is medium ugly. Cause I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't smoke. So Ro- Rosie's like the 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 uh, what's the girl? ambassador. She, she's the Britney Renner for medium uglies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but they're of age. <laughs> no, Britney Renner was like hide your sons. Yeah, Jackson. they're yeah, of that age. That was kind of wild. Though. I like real like, men. Like they like, have to be of age. That was od. <laughs> she's a predator, bro. Yeah, you you can't. That oh, was Britney, that was brave yeah, of her. Was, Cause wild, I saw all the bro. comments like, now y'all know if a man wrote no, this. If a man wrote that, it'd be over. We will speak a lot. About that later, but today we gotta wrap it up. Low, plug your stuff, man. Wrap what we got? Shit up. What am I plugging? Whatever you got to plug, bro. <laughs> oh, okay. um, I, I'm on this uh, show called Say Less with Kaz and Rosie, <laughs> and uh, we just got a new studio set up in yeah. a new building. Uh, I'm not gonna give you the address with a great staff. Yeah, baby shout Jesus. Out to all yeah. women, all women. Hold shout on, that's our great production staff. You know, Love shout y'all out over here. Team. Uh, I went from being the only female to. I oh, think oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll tell you, no stuff, now. I'll tell you, no stuff's gonna get done. I'm we got like, yeah, I'm gonna feel better I'm now. Like, I was sitting the creative, and I'm like, <laughs> great women. <laughs> <laughs> like, what, what, what is this? That you won't tell me to shut up again. Exactly. Oh, so, well, shut up, woman. Da, 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 say da, da. shut up, woman, again, so baby Jesus can come on. <laughs> Go, bro. I want to <laughs> say. I want to say so many different words that I would have said on Canal Street that I cannot say here right now that I know that the cameras are like, listen, Lo, I understand. I understand. I, guys are just who you are. Tell me to you shut can't up again. Do that. You know, Rosie, uh, what you plugging? Uh, actually, I'm not, done. I'm not done yet. Thank you. Um, oh. Well, we I are. I know you got 10 minutes. Um, <laughs> yeah, Hip Hop Army Throwback on Apple Music Hits every day, 9 to 10. Uh, rap Life Review with Ebro. Um, my boy Eddie and yes, yeah, you know, this and then me and Rory got some stuff that we're working on. It's gonna be very, very, very dope. And congratulations to Rory. Yeah, and shout out Rory and Maul. Oh, yeah. Big serious, big look for them. Yeah, yeah. 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 So we got some stuff Congrats. coming, but go ahead. 
Nothing. I'm just trying to... No, man. We're almost done. Relax. Go ahead. Don't matter. Jeez. Jeez. Um, (laughs) I have nothing to plug. Just my next vacation is coming up soon. (laughs) (laughs) My next next adventure is coming up soon. Anywho. uh, Guys, what do you got to plug? Because... NBA season is about to be in full effect. Oh, yeah. That's right. NFL season is in full effect. So you want to speak on the microphone? I'm sorry. Thank you. So your <laughs> your, your sports world. Yeah, it's time to kick off right now. Man. It's like you about to be a busy body. Very busy man. Yeah. So MSG PM, we back this yeah. week and yeah. on November 10th in studio at the Garden. Can't wait for that. Check me out the Mass Man Show, The Ring, and my God yeah, Dave Shoemaker. Yeah, uh, shout out to everybody at the Spring Hill Company. Yeah, Incredible news, things it's only going like 725? up. Seven twenty-five. Seven twenty-five. Not gonna talk about numbers, but it's a good move. Almost a Billy. Big, big moves for them and uh, the, yeah. the whole company. Uh, dope, congrats that's dope, there. That's dope. And uh, yeah, man. Bro, uh, can you get us some to my... secrets? Shut up. Shout out to. Uh, so is that yes? Was legit... Wait, that was uh, a legit... some what? Knicks tickets. Oh, some Knicks tickets? Oh, yeah, sure. What do you think, I, sure, what you think I said? <laughs> I thought you said Insta kits for something. No, reason. I bet Knicks tickets. We want to go to, I want to go to the game, bro. Anywho, oh, we right, got to wrap. I want to end the show by saying I know a lot of people reached out. Uh, to me this weekend, um, mm-hmm. especially uh, to my beautiful, beautiful lady, Jasmine. Um, a lot of folks uh, who have, you know, even folks I don't even really know personally that have been on our personal journey that knows what we've been through. Thank you so much for such kind words. Really means the world to me. Yeah. So excited uh, for our new addition to the family. And She's um, going to be a Sag. She's going to be a Sag. And uh, nice. again, thank you guys so much. Uh, again, <clears throat> say less. Things are getting real dope around here. So come along for the ride and uh, hope you stick around. So like we do every time at this time, stay free, stay safe, and always say say less. less. We'll catch you next week. Uh. What's up, y'all? This is Kaz. Loki. Rosie. And thank you for checking out the Say Less podcast. Don't forget to check out every new episode on Monday on YouTube. And do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> <Mother> <laughs> <laughs>